Hi guys, welcome to Catch Up Plus on a Forever TV where we bring you entertainment gossip. Take a look into the world of sports and tech. I'm La Belle Vitian. Let's take a look at some of the trending stories. In our first story, DJ Ada is apologizing to Nigerian men for dragging them over Tife after an encounter with their Ghanaian counterparts. But what has got people talking is the exposure of her ginormous breath. So this is one reason why I don't like to hang out with young guys. And now it sounds funny, but it's the truth, yeah? You get to hang out with a young dude. And then you're like, oh, you get your makeup done, your head done. See this that person. Onto airport and once you see the person, it's like, okay, I'm done. I've seen you. It was great meeting you. Time to go home. They always don't give you transport fare home. <laughs> Is this funny? But there's no, oh, thanks. I really appreciate the fact that you took your time out. You got dressed to come out. Right? There's no take send me your account number let me send you money home huh. it's always oh all right no problem see you another time how do you think i'm gonna come out another time i'm not coming out for nobody Moving on, the 2022 BET Awards uh, was held at the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. The show was hosted by famous actress Taraji P. Henson and its few it featured performances from a lot of different artists. Now, Afro Beads was well represented at the award with Fields performing on the red carpet and Fireboy DML performing at the live events. Now, Whiskey Warner, an award for the best collaboration with Essence of Futuring Thames and Justin Bieber and Thames also took home the award for best international act making her the first female nigerian afrobeat artist to succeed in winning that award i suppose congratulations are in order nigerian lawyer malcolm stormed the federal high court in lagos state dressed in traditional worshipers regalia yesterday now malcolm made news last week when he attended proceedings at the supreme court dressed in the same manner now according to him he is only following the approval of the Supreme Court in its judgment on June 17, allowing Nigerians to express their mood of worship, which includes the use of hijabs in schools and places of worship. He rebuffed an attempt by the court officials to stop him from going into the courthouse. Hold on, what now? Hold on, so what? So, what is the problem? You don't know me. I'm a lawyer now. Who told you I cannot appear? Who told you? Wait and see. Who, where, who told you I cannot appear? Wait and see. Who told you I cannot appear before the court? The Supreme Court said that. The Supreme Court not said so. The Supreme Court said so. Uh, Chad with Bozeman's age state is said to be evenly split between his widow and his parents. The Black Panther star who died on August 28, 2020 at the age of 43 after battling colon cancer left behind $2.3 million fortune after taxes, funeral, legal, and lawyer fees were subtracted. Now, according to the Black uh, Enterprise, his widow, Teller Simon, uh, uh, has reportedly asked for her husband's estate to be split between herself and her in-laws. Laurie and Caroline. This next story is rather hilarious. Nigerians are always optimistic, but the next story trumps the level. That level of optimism. A viral video is trending online of one OK Chuku who says he is anointed by God to be the best footballer in the world and to lead Nigeria forward in Premier League level football. Now, when asked how old he is, he found that difficult to give a straight answer to. My name is OK Chuku. Hanele, evangelist. You are going to be the world best footballer. The world best footballer and the world best coach. And I'm the one that God anoints to lead Nigeria forward. No other person. You are the one that Nigeria. God anoints to lead Nigeria forward in football. 
level Premier League. No other person. Comedian Basket Mouth's wife is dishing out juicy advice to women. Don't tell your partner everything, especially about your girlfriends and what they discuss with you. Hey guys, um, this is to wives and girlfriends that love to tell their partners everything. I mean, it's okay, you know, it's all right, but you need to chill, you know, team. I tell my husband everything. I don't have anything from him, you know. I tell him everything. I love him so much, so we don't keep secrets from each other. He's not everything you should tell him. He's not everything he needs to know, especially about your girlfriends. Because you know how girls like to talk a lot when they're together? You know, it could be marital issues, relationship issues, general issues. And those friends that like to talk about everything because it makes them feel better, now it should end there. Your partner, your husband, boyfriend doesn't need to know the secrets your girlfriends have confided to you. All right, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in the world of tech. In our first story, uh, Instagram is exploring new ways for teenagers to verify their age and comply with platform rules. The Meta Own app is testing video selfies and facial analysis software as a new age uh, verification me method. Now, some users on Instagram try to skirt uh, its 13 uh, age rule by editing the date of birth to make them appear over 18, but U.S. teens are Attempting this will now be given three ways to verify upload ID as three adults users to vouch for them or take a video selfie. Matter also says it hopes that this new method would help to ensure teens have an age appropriate experience on Instagram. After the Supreme Court overturned citizens' uh, constitutional right to abortion in the U.S., there has been concern about data protection, uh, particularly in the 13 states which have already moved to making ending uh, pregnancy illegal. But what sort of data might incriminate someone? How could the authorities get hold of it? And what are the tech firms doing? Now, Gina Nair, professor of technology and society at the University of Oxford, tweeted the day after the ruling, right now, and I mean right now, this instant, delete every digital trace of any menstrual uh, tracking. Now, her message has so far received 200,000 likes and been retweeted 54,000 times. Period trackers are normally used to help women predict when their next period is likely to be and are often used to either try to prevent pregnancies or try to conceive. Now, there are few that the apps could be used to punish uh, those seeking a termination if law enforcement got a hold of such data. The UK government and a coalition of charities are arguing the British public to put pressure on Facebook not to introduce end-to-end encryption on its messenger service. If Facebook rolls out the ultra-secure messaging system, the campaign says more children will be put at risk from online predators. The public debate is likely to be fierce as privacy campaigners and technology companies argue uh, the system is needed to protect personal privacy and data data security and the battle is being watched closely around the world as many governments are also keen to halt the spread of end-to-end -end encryption uh, in its current form. All right, guys, that's it for this edition of Catch Up Plus on our Forever TV. Now, don't forget to click subscribe and all follow all our social media platforms right there on the screen. And if you're looking for some good music for the weather is during the day or for your weekend, don't forget to tune in to Vibes Not a 4.5. I'm Laba Vision. Thanks for watching Catch Up Plus on our Forever TV. <laughs>